Hi guys. It is now uh, December 14, 2018. It is 1.52 a.m. on the East Coast. And look at what we've got going here. A massive storm manufactured by man. You can see the microwaves. They are heating up this area right here. A whole lot, <clears throat> excuse me, a whole lot, but I want you to see something. I want you to see the microwaves blow apart this tail, and it's coming up really, there they are. You see the microwaves? Let's do it one more time. You can see the microwaves in here, up here, also. But let's do another loop, shall we? Okay, this tail, I guess they don't want it there. So, they're blowing it apart with microwaves right there. Wow, it's gone. Voila. Yes, man has the technology. And you're seeing it on this satellite. Goes 16. Oh, God. You know, look at how it's just fried microwaves right there. Now, I have to reduce the size. To, let's do it frame by frame. See? It's coming back. Wow, 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 wow. Look at all that blue. Wow, wow. Look at those microwaves. Right smack in your face. And they blow this baby to bits. Okay, so that's what it and look at, you know, I'm sorry, rectangles. No, that's not Mother Nature. But here we go. We don't want you there. So we're going to get rid of you by blowing you apart. But did you see what looks like an ultra low frequency hit right here? See this little indent? Let's go back. Okay, here it comes, there it is, boom. So microwaves up here, ultra low frequencies down here, and what do we have? It's gone, wow, blown apart. Man bringing in another storm for Florida and the Carolinas. Again, all of these, what look like ripples right here, microwaves. And you can also see all of the geoengineering taking place, all of the lines, these white lines all over. Another geoengineered storm for us. Ain't that great? No, it's not. The geoengineering taking place all over. All of the frequencies. How are you guys feeling? Because I will tell you, these frequencies are really causing an awful lot of damage to life itself. Heating up the air. And I'll show you one more time. All of the microwaves up here. Yes, they are certainly heating it up. 
There we go. Microwaves. Frequency hit. Disappears. The colder temperatures disappear because they want the heat to bring about another storm for us. And it's big. Oh, it's very big. Let me reduce this. Wow. Check it out. Now, I have been capturing um, many different time periods today. You saw the microwaves going through South Carolina again. The, uh, you know, Houston with its ultra low frequency hits seems to have calmed down. Oh, I've got to show you. Hang on. Well, this was happening in Nevada today with a nice uh, laser hit. I slow it down and you'll see how this uh, laser comes out and then suddenly we've got this traveling what looks like precipitation afterwards. That's very strange. I guess um, we'll just say it's a anomaly. Well, when you have anomaly after anomaly after anomaly, the anomalies become normal. You can see all of the frequencies North Texas. You can see these frequency hits, these ultra low frequency hits taking place. Microwaves over here um, and microwaves South Carolina perhaps bringing up this storm, giving it some uh, energy, pulling it up. But uh, do you notice that the storm is going north up here? And it gets very defined. So frequencies are being used. I saw that another anomaly, which looks like perhaps the radar is uh, setting off the high frequency heating. There were so many weird anomalies in this storm. What looked like scalar squares were popping up. Look at the microwaves, what the microwaves are doing. But wait, that storm that was going up north, but this is traveling south. How does that happen? What happened to the jet stream? There was a scalar square right there. In Oklahoma, right here. Boingo. Okay, so the microwaves, you've got the ultra low frequencies going. You've got this, uh, what appears to look like a land okane uh, being generated in Texas. Uh, about an hour ago, I saw that Texas was getting snow again. 
Yeah, we're in trouble. Um, they are really ramping up these weather events. Look at how massive this storm is. But um, it appeared as if Now this storm a couple of hours ago was solid, but half of it was going up north, and then the other half was going south, and then it was ripped apart. Where, what, this is the jet stream? Are we looking at the jet stream? How is this the jet stream? This entire area here coming up from Louisiana into Arkansas. It was like a perfect triangle that, I mean a perfect rectangle, and then it spanned out and looked like a cross. But how this is something is amiss with our jet stream. So Man can do that. Mother Nature doesn't do it. All right. What do we have? We've got another report from our scientists. U.S. scientists have warned that higher temperatures in the Arctic could be fueling extreme weather in the U.S. and Europe. Yes, NOAA. NOAA. Congress had a hearing about NOAA lying, lying in their reports, making up the data because, oh, climate change, global warming, it needs fake data to convince the public that global warming is real. So NOAA uh, report said 2018 was the second warmest year on record since 1900. I think they say that every single year. The report was released on Tuesday at the American Geophysical Union's annual conference in Washington just weeks after another damning climate assessment by U.S. scientists was published. And all one has to do is a little bit of research to find out that both reports are based on manufactured data. data and, oh, I am so tired of this. Emily Osborne, program manager of NOAA's Arctic Research Program, told reporters the Arctic is experiencing the most unprecedented transition in human history. This is not going to stop. Lying is just our way. Well, what do they say about the jet stream? The wavering jet stream. The jet stream has become more unstable. Scientists now see evidence of how a changing jet stream could be causing extreme storms. Unstable jet stream creates a pattern that allows warm air to penetrate farther north and cold air to plunge farther south compared to when the jet is strong and relatively straight. Well, man has really screwed up our jet stream. This is manufactured heating, microwaves, high frequency heating of the ionosphere and coming back with the ultra low frequencies and voila, you've got massive heating. Uh, they have so many ways to heat up our atmosphere, heat up water, heat up whatever they want to heat up. You know, that ice in the Arctic, they can heat it up. But as you can see, and this is very clear, this cannot be disputed. Microwaves are making... the temperatures way cold way cold right here again microwaves boom 
ultra low frequency hit and it's gone. Okay. All right. Um, we're looking at a severe storm. We're looking at another severe storm. <laughs> um, heavy rains, flash flooding, hail, snow, ice, all over again. Damaging winds, few tornadoes are possible from Florida to the Carolinas. Carolinas. Again. Again. Get prepared, guys. Stay safe, everybody.